everybody. Um, this has been deep. It's been deep stuff. I just want to let y'all know that um, I enjoy myself here, yeah, and um, we're gonna we're gonna continue it and continue uh, to keep the messages going. You know, and uh, for you that I mean, for all of you that's unfamiliar with me, I'm gonna play something for you before I get into music and hip hop and uh, spirituality and religion into uh, music and uh, why I chose to do that and how it influenced me. So I'm gonna play this joint. It's called it's, for, it's called the Wing People, right? So I'm doing a little bit of it. Okay. And then I'll do Would you talk with you now? Do you believe? Or do you know? Is your faith blind? Or is it as bright as the sun? of Anu, took on mortal fashion, built themselves statues in the image of themselves, to worship themselves, built towers to themselves, to remind them when they fell, they came from a station in space, an angelical race, giant in stature, helmet and cape that they wore, visiting this planet to explore, long journey from their own, cause their race had war. They called they planted the bureau and that they were fallen heroes. They saw gold, saw trees, and like more liberal. Astronauts with Afro and locks. Jet beam into a ziggurat, they crashed on rocks. 1.21 gigawatts, some passed over crops. In the tablet legends, they said they opened the floodgates of heaven, describing their monstrous brethren, chopping up their grandparents in the seven pieces. Now they looking for a region, they travel eastern. Found the garden called Eden, they saw a being. Fought the bow before Baal, or be exiled with the tribe of reptiles. Now call the wrong child, the x Life begins breathing hydrogen inside of high winds. Milky Way violins heard by the wild. Men observed in Orion, the windows with no end, the black glass in the sea that extends. Within that sea exists carbohydrates. These gods were hybrids. They went back and forth till they mixed the star bread and the foods of thought with proteins. Protons and atoms produced the whole gene. From infinity to density, the matter to atom to cell to organisms, the metamorphosis. Waters of the living to bodies back to God. Thank you. That was called the Wing People. Go ahead, the Wing People. And I'm gonna do a quote from a, um, an artist that uh, who had influenced us when we came in. And you see, we talk about different different things and uh, religions. There's a, there's a different a whole bunch of religious, not just Christianity, because that's everybody knows that's very new. <laughs> and very, very new. So that that's taken from the Epic of Gilgamesh, like uh, my, my man right over there was dropping, and um, Egyptian tablets, you know, and uh, Stilis, the Stilis, and some of those uh, older religions, even the Rig Veda, that we go into that Indian history. So that's what we do. And um, this is a quotation from my boy, Grandmaster Flash. Right? And it says, a child is born with no state of mind, blind to the ways of mankind. And uh, this is taking it back, going, and you know, as we came in and uh, listened to that lyric, that's what opened up my whole thought to, and expand my whole mind on rap music, provoking thought. A child is born with no state of mind, blind to the ways of mankind. And that is, I mean, it goes further than that. So that's what got me on my mission at first. And uh, 
We were a part of the Five Estate Nation. If anybody know about that, that's the God Bodies. I'll let y'all know about that. <laughs> that's believing yourself as God. You know, believing in you, you are you are God. We all have God in us, so we are gods. You know, like that. So that's how that's how we started out. And um, our whole main objective was to push our positive messages and provoke thought through music. Music goes way back, you know, from uh, just the last poets. Anybody ever uh, familiar with the last poets? Yeah. Those were the first rappers to me. <laughs> that was like the first rappers to me. And uh, we have uh, Public Enemy, and uh, we have uh, uh, the X Clan. I don't know if y'all familiar with the X Clan. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, the X -Clan. Yeah. Yeah, they were dropping knowledge in there. <laughs> they were always dropping knowledge back then. So that's what started Killer Priest. You know, that's what that's what that's where I came from. And uh, RZA actually gave me my gave me my name. It was during the dark. We were, we were doing the uh, Grave Diggers, mm -hmm. and that was and the Grave Diggers is an era in hip hop where we just was waking up the dead in their minds. They thought we was actually digging graves, but we was actually freeing the mental dead. That's what this was about, to uh, free the mental dead and enslave mind from all type of religions. If you look up there, I have a, a verse uh, from One Step. It's one of my songs, and it, and it, and it goes, uh, they told us certain lies in these days the servant dies, but in the halls of Pharaoh, they spell Pharaoh wrong. <laughs> And somebody else wrote that. <laughs> the walls are narrow. <laughs> the walls are narrow, and religion is like a prison for the seekers of wisdom. Now, freedom, that's freedom. Freedom is freedom. <laughs> they got it. Well, you know, somebody else wrote that. So, yeah, so to free our minds from uh, the, the bounds of religion. We use music to do that, you know, the things that we learn on our way up. And um, putting that in music was very important for us as Wu-Tang. And um, like I told him yesterday, the Wu symbol is the, Jizza came up with this, is the, the when you swing in the sword. The Tang is when it hit. Tang. <laughs> and that's what Wu Tang is. We're sword master swordsmen with words, and um, all of us from uh, the from Rizzo on down to uh, you guy, <laughs> myself, and um, that's how that's how we began. We used to battle back in the days, and we would walk around the whole neighborhood, and just battle different MCs and, uh, and engage in different MCs. MC Wars, and that's how we built up our skills and study <laughs> and do a lot of studying, man. We read a lot of books, a lot of books back then. You know, the internet wasn't, we, it wasn't really exploding back then when we was coming in. <laughs> so about you had to get your books on little papers. I'm from New York, so that's where it was coming from, little papers on the street. Man. And we would, get, we would get that handwritten, and we would just go in for hours, for hours. So... That's how the music was uh, influencing our spirituality, you know, and uh, vice versa. So that's just the beginning. And uh, we came out with our first album, uh, Into the 36 Chambers, uh, where OTB is no longer here with us, and he had, he had knowledge himself also. And uh, I came up with this song. It's called Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. And that's just my acronym for Bible. <laughs> you know, just basic. We we used to always come up with uh, acronyms like basic instructions before leaving Earth. That's all it was. And um, we we have one for projects and and crime, criminals robbing the innocent mother efforts all the time. <laughs> that's that was started by Jizza. So in there I said um, I said knowledge is wisdom. This go this is not up there yet. But I'll just quote, quote it for you. Knowledge is wisdom. This goes back when I was 12. I loved doing right, but I was trapped in hell. I had bad ideas. 
sad eyes and tears, years of fears, but my foes couldn't bear. I searched for the truth since my youth. I went to church since birth, but it wasn't worth the loot. That I was playing for the praying. <laughs> I mean, that's what it was, man. I, I got locked up into that because someone brought me into church. And it was a lot of, just like uh, she showed, it was a lot of money being passed around for nothing. You know, uh, was uh, paying for the praying. I didn't like staying because of busy bodies and dizzy hotties. That the preacher had souped up with lies, had him cooped up looking at loot button thighs. During the service, he swallowed up the poor, and after they heard this, they wallowed on the floor. But I ignored it and explored my history that was untold, and now Mr. Reza unfold. That's it. That was, uh, that's all from the heart, you know, that's real life that we was really going through back then. And now, uh, let's go to uh, Beneath the Surface. Uh, y'all, y'all, any of y'all familiar with Jizza? Yeah. Yeah, 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 just this is from his, from his album. And um, I'm featured on this song. I've been in, and I said, uh, I've been in the presence of bad peasants and old kings who sold everything on a quest for God's divine. Slept in caves and get, get a clear mind. Who prayed three times when the moon lit and when the sun rise. Met dwellers in the desert, spoke to shepherds, been in the mouths of many leopards. Felt the death kiss of Satan mistress, walked with vacant dresses. Uh, that's for religion. <laughs> that's wrong. Right there. Walked in vacant districts, studied pagan scriptures. Why do we say we study pagan scriptures? <laughs> because, um, you know, like we said before, it goes back before Christianity, you know? So we going back into Egyptology, to the oldest Sumerians, and, um, and checking out, thinking outside the box, checking out everything else, you know, questioning ourselves, and then going in there. And we got a lot of fantasy stuff, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know my man right there like fantasy stuff. But uh, the stories are good. The stories are good. It takes us somewhere and it takes our mind somewhere and it you need that for the for the hood, for the ghettos and in the city because it's madness out there. I mean, you know, y'all closer to the most murderous capital, right? Or is this still Chicago? I have asses in the race, and it's no good, though. Yeah, what, what, what you said? Most incarcerated. Oh, it's the most incarcerated, yeah. Right, right, right. Incarcerated black people. That's right, yeah, that is true. So, music is a way to escape and, and um, build, and it's been used for ancient centuries, even in the tombs. If you look in the tombs, you see music instrument note, notes, and you see, uh, uh, instruments back back then, and you're looking at. I'm a little bit <laughs> shady. This is my first time, man. And, 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 <laughs> I got things hot. Huh? Yeah, thank you, man. Uh, so they categorize uh, conscious rap, but I think it's just real rap. You know. Uh, from, uh, we, I got a chance to meet uh, a lot of entertainers in here, such as uh, Tupac, Miz, uh, Biggie, and they had a good, they had, uh, they had good, they had good notes and stuff like that too. I was building with the naked, they, you know, finished sharing, because they was only, what, 23 years old. People don't realize that. They died, they didn't, they didn't even get to 30 years old. Well, like 25 or 24. Two pocket baby smalls on. So, and a lot of people don't look at that, but look how much work they've done since then. All right. This is, our, our music is a challenge, cultural belief, uh, political um, encounters, social issues, and all. These are my notes. <laughs> social issues, uh, such as uh, one, of my, one of my favorite things to listen to is reggae. 
reggae because reggae got a lot of good messages and make you feel good, you know. And um, you know, from there, one of my favorite groups out there is the Abyssinians from uh, Reggae Goose. You should check them out. Talk about a lot of ancient stuff too. The Mystic Reggae Cats. And then, um, <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. <laughs> right, I'm just looking at the faces. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got another video, right? Yeah, so right now I'm going to show y'all another video where I get the rest of my notes together. <laughs> This one's called Bring It Out. If there is any such thing at all as intelligence and love and beauty, well, you found it in other people. Sitting in my chair, then the vision appears Staring at the wall, the wall turned into the spheres And the spheres held the planet, someone distance from there Out of limits, I and the answer was there Warm currents were rushing, affinities came in abundance Century seasons only by the dozens Prophesies of thy coming, and it was told I hold the mic way beyond the hundreds The mic turned to greatness Greatness took me to the sacred places The gift the glory over me like a blanket Then I reclined so I could see the design Voice said close your eyes Cause all we need is your mind And it rhymed like a storm As the currents blew me on through gases I saw places where planets were born And the voice that spoke to my ghost majestic Let's show you the essence Let's reveal to you the presence The seventh seal of the heavens Within the will, the legend, the seal Of the lesson, the skill is perfection Ain't still before the weapon out came Miss other sinners to hell within the message to build effervescence. I felt shadows all around me. They said there's just the pharaohs trying to crown me. There's tarot and crystal balls within your boundaries. You're now free to explore all the visions and encounters your mind can saw. For all the wisdom and the counsel, a psychic mystique. I've been writing for weeks. Every time I say a rhyme, it whites my teeth. Make angels pillars of stone, people pillars of salt. When I reveal under the cloth, when the killer would talk, swimming in the cosmic gulf, in the rivers of thought, where the healers was taught, but in the mirror seemed lost. And they finished the plan of Tiamat on the Shabbat. Then they planted eating crops, in the evening would drop when there was nothingness. That's when y'all made the covenant. On the cross, his blood would drip, and the cost to buzz his pick. Time and admiration. Stress and aggravation I don't do yoga But I can stress imagination God tears turns to prayer beads Falls over the neck of a cardinal Wearing a wooden Mary Whispering verses over the buried In the Celtic cemetery And he held it to his visions were heavy Like a time machine Saw the dynasty of kings Your mind is seen The skyline turned to rain We wear paint, beads, water or oil Saint, holy men, back or royal Angels, devils or aliens which you believe in more? Do you receive and restore? Do you want peace? <laughs> I get the message right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a journey through the mind. Um, and something like you said about the trees being in a in in space. That's a, just a a journey through the mind. And if we was to take a trip. Through the mind, we'll find out a lot of stuff. That's that's the first state we we'll hit, right? The state of mind, <laughs> or the mind state that we are in. And like I always like to say, the first nation is the imagination. And with that, you know, and with that, you can expand and uh, and always and always grow. And you know, and you can always grow, and there's always room to grow within the mind, and that's what that's about. So, so okay. So why is spirituality important in music? It's important to all of us in, in inside to to always know that everything's energy, made up of energy, you know. Energy is everything. Energy is life. And um, that's what it is. Like when I'm speaking, I'm sharing out, we're sharing energy just on basic knowledge, just on basic foundation. So energy. I got a bunch of notes, man. <laughs> Flipping through. Flipping through. That was kind of cool. Let me just be real. Just be right. 
Uh, well, that's, that's his notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah, so that's how we started. And um, being in the studio, working, and we had books around, we had incense burning, and we had uh, this whole atmosphere that we built and while we were making these songs. And, uh, and we set the vibe and, uh, and through our experience and our travels, we just you know, take them and put them on paper and then we record it. That's how we record. I remember being in Rizzo's basement. We didn't have a big studio at first. It was just a little crib. It's his crib. His girl used to always be beefing, arguing <laughs> with him. That's it. And the kick us all out. We would all just be there. Scattered papers and just writing, writing in there. And <laughs> we had to share a sandwich. You know what I mean? We, just all was, and we didn't have the money. We was just all in the circle, man. We had, we had a little bit of money. We was in this basement. We just worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and build and build. What we call building is just sharing knowledge. And um, that's how it came out. That's how, the, that's how we all came out with our stuff. And then, um, we was like the first group that, because uh, we were so big, we had a lot of members that break a, break away and that each of us get a, um, our own separate deal. And um, everybody was their own individual. And uh, that's it. Anybody got questions? <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see already. Good. You know what? Jizzles uh, beneath the surface. Uh, just another victim of the ghetto. Mm. One essentially one of the best hip hop songs out there. His wordsmith, his wordplay, and the other artist that he had on that song was just phenomenal to me. Mm. I mean, like that in the beats and the rhythms that you guys come up with is it's almost a production. Yeah. So how how did you guys how do you guys come up with the, with the with the beats that you guys come up with? Because they, they catch you. And then the lyrics that are on top of those just just make it just one great production, honestly. Well, those were the oh, okay. That, those were the old soul music. We we we, we started sampling old soul music, and that's RZA and Fourth Disciple was uh, really going through that. They were the masters of uh, making the beats, and we just we writing rhymes. And um, Jizza is like one of the first first my first lyricists that I follow. You know that that I personally knew, mm-hmm. and he was well, he was always lyrical back then. And uh, he's on. He's the head. He's actually the one who uh, brought me in, and um, he brought us all. He brought us all together. Him and Rizzo together. Right. But just is the one that I came. I came through, and uh, he was always kicking lyrics like that, man. He was always uh, because of the knowledge that we required from the gods and the earth, the gods and the earth, the gods being ourselves, the earth being the women, and the knowledge from back then, you know. Right. And, and, and can I add a few yeah, statements? One of the unique things about the, that particular album, uh, not a lot of profanity, which I, which I absolutely love. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just very raw and uncut. Yeah. Not a lot of profanity. And so now, hip hop today, when I listen to it, it's it, it disturbs my, my inner peace, my inner sanctity. <laughs> because not because it's, it's, it's just not there. Sitting up on the blood beat. I'm not cheering, I don't get it. I mean, I mean it, it, so, so why, why did we have this transition, this metamorphosis from real high quality, very creative uh, lyricist to now? where it's, it's just really a bunch of noise? That's a good question. Well, it's there. Real artists are still here. It's just that the, the music industry and the radio got together and they want to keep dumbing down the population, you know, because I guess it's easier to listen to happy beats <laughs> or, or whatever. I don't know what that part is, but it's money also too. And then, you know, there's money involved in it. But the real, you just got to search for it. It's still here, you know. So we, we still making music that way and, and uh, putting all the energy to it. And it's gonna, it's still it's still alive. Just got to look for it, you know, with the internet. But. 
So I'm wondering what your religious upbringing was. Were you raised religious or were you raised secular? What I was I was raised religious to believe I, I was I, I was I was raised in a I don't know if it's Pentecostal but I didn't understand it you know <laughs> my, <laughs> my aunt my aunt would always she would always call on Jesus like uh, Fred Sanford call on <laughs> and, and, and then she would curse at us right after that my I don't. <laughs> So I don't know what we were, <laughs> but uh, it, either pot, Pentecostal or Baptist, one or two. Okay, yeah, yeah. and so then did that influence your interest in pursuing yeah. ancient religions, or yeah. how did that come about? Yeah, well, that came in during, uh, um, because I was, well, it was the first of Jehovah Witness. I have a bunch of people, right? Okay. Well, Jehovah Witness told me about heaven and hell. That's what he told me, was heaven and hell. So I left that and I went into uh, uh, I went into Islam, right? And, it, and that's another that's another side. So I started learning about uh, they were virgins. <laughs> they were virgins after you die. They didn't need virgins for it. So I went. And so, <laughs> it's a lot of death going on. Here. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> so that's how I started writing about. It. About it because I, I went through a lot of uh, denominations, and that's what sparked my interest in writing about it. <laughs> so, um, you, you know, music's really influenced my life too, and I, and uh, as an atheist, it's, it's one of those things where um, I feel like it, it's kind of weird because a, a lot of us are like we we don't have a god, and there's no sort of spiritualism. But like for me, when I listen to music, I get that spiritualism. Like it's, it's there, it touches me, and it's like you said that that energy that just flows between all of us. So I think I think that's an important thing that you do. And like and like I, I just wanted to say I appreciate what Lou has done, for like bringing up the community and giving back to the community and, and really being there for the community, wanting to educate people. And uh, I, I just wanted to offer my appreciation. For that. Thank you. Thank you. It is energy. Yeah, yeah. KP, um, yeah. one of the things that we know because we're all atheists, and I think most people here have been to secular conferences, um, big time, no, big known name bands or uh, rap artists, hip hop artists, they're not really involved. So really thank you for coming and doing this. It's a yeah. very taboo uh, subject for some people, feel it, uh, it affects their celebrity or whatever. So really, uh, the courage that you had to come here and do this, really, thank you for that. Yeah. Anybody else? Oh, do you think that uh, a lot of artists uh, put uh, the spirituality into their lyrics because they think it'll it'll garner a better impact mm -hmm. from their fans? Mm -hmm. Do you think they put it in there? Um, I mean, in general. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a personal thing, you know. It's supposed to be from from here, <laughs> not from here. Not from here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I would say, I would say, I would say, uh, it's fifty fifty. So it's fifty fifty. Keep it neutral. Yeah. <laughs> I was made that. One of the things that I used to do, you know, after I got older, in my late teens, early twenties, and you know, some of my family members would say, "Well, um, you must have believed something because you like the music, <laughs> and the music, the gospel music, must be moving you." I say, "I like music." Yeah, I mean, if I listen to jazz, if I listen to reggae, right. reggae, that moves me as well. Yeah. It is not uh, something mythical that's moving me. It's the connection, it's the music, it's, 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 it's that connection that you have when you listen to music. Yeah. So it's unfortunately yeah. that, like everything else, you know, people co-opted and say, that's because God is sitting <laughs> it's not the beat, right? 
<laughs> it's definitely the beat. In the back. Um, it's interesting. Thank you. It's uh, similar to what um, you said earlier about the diversity of how we have folks who are um, you know, Christians and at the same time we have black folks who are still atheists to do this. Right. Um, same with the music that you've always uh, had, like you mentioned, uh, Grandmaster Flash and you know, you've got the um, Tupac, you know, in terms of keep your head up, or, you know, keep your head up, or uh, Dear Mama, you have songs that are humanistic in terms of you know, you know humanism. Uh, as far as bad news is concerned. Uh, but most of what gets played, again, like you said, uh, is in what sells. Uh, you know, that's, that's most of what gets played. So, what is it that makes people not realize that you still have folks like, you know, Tribe Called the Press, mm-hmm. really conscious of it, um, yeah. uh, which has nothing to do with uh, airplay or radio. Yeah, uh, man, that's a good point. Searching, searching now, you know, and and most artists, I mean, they should come to events like this to let you know. I mean, this is just the the, the beginning, you know. Soon we have more. Of the story, the art of storytelling, That's right. which is lost on a lot of our youth right. and a lot of people, they, they don't make that connection uh, between what the hip hop artist does and what has been done throughout uh, throughout history, throughout the ages. Right. So, what is it that we can do, or do you think? And also, do you think that there will be um, good opportunities for us, for those who are spiritual, for those who may still identify as Christian? For those who may identify as, as atheists, do right. you think that there will be a time where we in the black community can come together and make specific and, and make a uh, good progress, regardless of what our backgrounds are? That was a <laughs> nice meaty question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that uh, I think communication is the is the key. Communication and, and um, I think by like right now, I'm so sparked that I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do something about it. I'm gonna, um, and I think we can put books out. And I think I'm gonna reach out to the rest of my group, and then everybody who knows each other, reach out to them, and I'm gonna show them the tape. I know it's gonna be on YouTube, right? Yeah. And uh, we push it like that, and we're gonna make something happen. So I think uh-huh. we can do it that way. Right Anybody else? Okay. I think that maybe if we're going to go with just purely on the musical side and the artists who self-identify as humanist and or atheists, that maybe a, a holding together a musical conference, like a, 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 con- a concert specifically around people who think uh, likewise thinkers or free thinkers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's no limit. There's no cap to it. Right. You can keep it going. It yeah. spans multiple genres. Too. That's right. That's right. I'll be putting against, together a large playlist on YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mythic playlist. <Yeah. laughs> Myth, myth list. <laughs> All right. uh, as successful as you are, what do you think it is that made you successful, and, and what did, what do you think it is that you bring uh, to the table, and, and why do you think that it works? Um, timing is a lot. Time it has to do a lot, a lot with it. You know, it's just like uh, um, what I think I bring to the table, and I'll tell you this is at first, um, is something that something outside of the box, like I've been saying, and uh, to get people to think other than just religion, get you thinking about where does where these things started from, and it worked because. I think that I'm real about it, and I'm really, really, really real about it. And uh, I had a, also had a team <laughs> help me with it, you know. So it's like not compromising yourself and having a team on your side because I'm an embodiment to a whole crew, you know. So I mean, our whole crew is, is to, we together, so we move as one, and then that's how we we, we made it work. All right. 
Uh, so KB, is it is it safe to say you're openly secular? Yes, you can say that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I came out of the church. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. How, how does your family feel about that? Well, they do. You know, I'm, I'm, I come from a black family. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I, I have to. Uh, we have to go through history books. It's, I mean, it's a long term. Man. We have to sit down and go through it. We have to fight the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, uh, our mom's in school. She's cool with it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one more question? I just have one more comment. Okay. If that's okay. I think Wu Tang should be at the Reason Rally next yeah. year. Woo -hoo. Let's make that happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's make that happen. Make Joe, last question, Joe. All right. I have one question for you. Um, basically, obviously, it was awesome performing you. Last night, I was really cool at the party. <laughs> but, uh, I didn't know I performed. <laughs> <laughs> we got video. Yeah. 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 It's good, Joe. So, uh, long story short, as a performer and talking about musical, it's a huge reality. I, I, I think as an atheist, for me, music was like the biggest substitute that you say, fill my God, fill the hole, or something like that. Um, where listening to music is one thing, but actually performing it is a whole other beast. Right. Right? I think. It has emotions that I never, are never encountered when you're just listening to music alone and actually performing these. So my question for you would be, what is actually performing music in front of all these people and of all these great venues and things like that? How does that actually help with your, we'll say, music and spirituality relationship? Man, that's like 99% of it. Because like I told you before, like she said, well, music is energy. So what we get from y'all is the energy you give to me, that's what formulates and create create what we do. We have a bunch of ideas that's concentrated and you create that. <laughs> and I give that right back. So we get that, I mean that's that's been ninety nine percent of what we do to perform, to actually perform it. That's the energy that we was talking about. The live that life energy, the light energy. That's you and me. Thank you. Yeah.